what's very helpful beyond just what physical things do you think you might do, what physical things are you less uh, comfortable with, is just the idea of responding to a horrible situation with force, with, with a horrible response of your own. And particularly females uh, can struggle with that. And it's a cultural thing. It's not because women can't do that, they absolutely can do it. It's not because women aren't tough. I mean, you know, women go through childbirth. Women are incredibly tough, physically speaking. But female toughness so often is of an empathetic nature. Females are really good at being tough for other people, being strong for other people. So if it's helpful, I tell women like that, this is another situation where you need to be strong for other people. Now, what, what do I mean by that? Because it, it's you in that moment, right? It's you being attacked in that moment. But if you can think about, for a moment, all of the people that you're connected to, how many people are, are good friends of yours? How many family members do you have? How many people do you, do you just think about uh, as, as folks that you're just really, really close to? Those relationships mean something. And there are people out there who depend on you, maybe not you know, depend you know, in, in terms of support, but they just depend on knowing that you're out there and that, that they have a problem, they can talk to you. The, the support, the, res the response you give to them when they're going through pain, you know, they, they need that in their lives. And if they didn't have that in their lives, it would change their life. So for, for those women, whether that's you or not, but for those women, who have a hard time being strong just for themselves because they never think about themselves. Women are, are very good at putting others in front of themselves you know, long before they get to themselves. For those kinds of women, if they can think in terms of all of the people that they're linked to, all of those people who depend on them, who care about them, who love them, what it would do to them if something horrible happened like to you, something horrible happened to you, that would be a chain reaction and it would be a chain reaction that would change your circle forever. You know, if you survived it, but horrible things still happened, it would still change your circle. If something like that happened to a friend of yours, how would that affect you? Profoundly, right? You wouldn't want that for anyone else that you're close. You wouldn't want that for anyone else, period. So if you can sort of think in that broader context, if you can think about the combined strength and all of that love and all of that support, if you can be strong for all of those people, you can certainly be strong for yourself. And if you can bring the love and the awareness of all of those people with you wherever you go, because you may need them come crunch time, you take all of those people with you to every challenging circumstance you're, you face so that if you're ever attacked, they're all standing there right behind you. They want you to be effective. They want you to succeed.